What's up, family? This is your Ghetto News Report, Mayor Lee. That's 20 Mayor Lee. Today is Freaky Friday in my city, Chicago, February the 25th, so they say 2022. This one for the money, y'all. Real talk. Uh, this is going out to the Hispanics and all the immigrants and foreigners and stuff that invaded my land, Chicago. And um, this is going out to my so-called ex-girlfriend, Luana Joy Jacobs, who worked for uh, Blue Cross Blue Shields and... She uh, was a Jehovah Witness, uh, placed in my life to to uh, troll and uh, put me on the hit list because they knew my, um, I just want y'all to get a look at this. I'm going to take it off right now because I want you to be able to see this shit for real. But yeah. Uh, yeah, she, uh, she had a list of motherfuckers because, you know, when they come over, you know, they say life's a journey. That's what this bitch told me, Luanda. Because they come over from sea to, from overseas, flying or wherever the fuck. You understand what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, they they set up shop in your world and shit. Now, when I came to this building, uh, 6210 South Kimbark Avenue, Chicago, North 60637, apartment 308 and stuff, uh, May 31st of 20. 17, um, I seen a few bed bugs, okay, and I was able to, you know, pretty much keep that under wraps or whatever, they had told me, you know, the so-called manager and stuff, Steve, they got me in this piece of shit that probably is my family building that they didn't took over, think they own some New Jack City shit, it's only gonna kill them in the end, I, I pray, you know how I, I nigga, I speak it into existence, real fucking talk, long story short, now, Four years, almost five years later, you know, I'm seeing roaches, big roaches, because it's a dirty old motherfucker that claimed he got a goddamn college degree and shit, wear the same outfit every day and shit, don't comb his hair, in his probably 70s, I walk past his room on the first floor, it looked like he's sleeping outside and shit, fucking garbage everywhere, but they so worried about what's in my goddamn room and shit, you understand what I'm saying, I'm like, well, why don't you you know, address dude and stuff, real talk. So they want me to go back and forth. I'm not going to go back and forth for these stupid motherfuckers because I know they about to die any damn way. This is a true story. And y'all listen good, real Mary McAmyers, and don't think, you know, I'm just flying off the handle and stuff. But if you know me by now, you know I got every reason to, real talk. Because you got to remember, this is because of child uh, pornography and pedophilia and all that and stuff. Now, you got to remember, I was in the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper at the age of six in 1973 for standing up for myself because of child predators and things of that nature. Now, the Tuskegee experiment took place, you know, back in the day or whatever and stuff, and they started issuing out people money in 1973 around the same time I stood up for myself because they, you know, had done a lot of um, experimenting. A lot of guys of color, you know, were dying or whatever and stuff. They wanted to experiment on. So here we go again with the coronavirus and things of that nature. It used to be hospitals. Now it's, ex it's uh, laboratories and stuff around, you know, where I stay and stuff. Real talk. They slowly, surely bringing in that old behavior and tactless and things of that nature and stuff. Um, Cat Williams, you know, talked about the Mexicans, talking about, um, well, you know, you know, y'all got Mexico, you know, give us America or whatever, or California, whatever the fuck. And you remember how they went after him and shit, real fucking tough. So there's no reason, it's no, uh, it's no, um, what you call, uh, surprise to me that, you know, they're trying to take my little social security check. I don't care about that. Look, bitch gonna call me today about the little social security check that I had already made appointment for in April. And I, so I said, you know, cause you know, I know how to talk to these bitches and shit. I was like, uh, so you, you know, you calling me, you know, um, talking about, uh, something in March on on fucking goddamn, you know, Ash Wednesday. She gonna give me a, a appointment to, over the phone or whether see if I still qualify or not. You understand what I'm saying? Just wanna keep their mind on my money, and I'm the originator of rap, bitch. If you can count every fucking grain of sand on the fucking beach, bitch, then you know you can count my money. Until then, bitch, stay the fuck out my pockets and leave me the fuck alone. Or take that check and shove it up your fucking ass, bitch. Real fucking talk. Long story short, these goddamn Hispanics and shit, and these Chinese motherfuckers and foreigners, they were so goddamn gun ho 
on trying to outdo us and shit. So they were study pumping up these babies and killing us off and shit. But the curse is coming back to haunt their ass now because, you know, while they was killing off ours with Planned Parenthood, uh, uh, Margaret Singer or whatever her name is, shit. You understand what I'm saying? Killing off our babies. They was trying to pump they fucking shit and take over America, the world or whatever and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Hating on a nigga and shit. Back in the day, this, uh, I had got the little social security check or whatever and stuff because they had railroaded me or whatever and stuff, right? And I was in this little, like, nursing home or whatever and stuff, and I wanted to see, God damn it, if these Hispanics was on the up and up because I knew they wasn't because everywhere I went, you know, they was following me and stuff ever since the East Coast Wagon Train program. They, I caught them cheating in and stuff. They cheated me out of being the first girl head scout. They made me the first girl head teamster, but they wouldn't let me ride that damn horse. And I think they trying to bring these goddamn horses to goddamn um, Chicago because I seen someplace not too far from where I'm at, you know, had a barrel of hay and it looked like they, you know, make ship and some kind of, you know, okay corral shit, you know, trying to bring in that, um, uh, uh, what's that movie, uh, Uncle Tom cabin shit. You know, they already got these bitches wearing dresses and shit, the fucking guys and shit. They slutty bringing that old shit back. Long story short, I'm at the nursing home and Donna, my ex-girlfriend, the Italian stallion, the hold prostitute, the drug dealer, the fucking goddamn thief, the uh, real estate agent, the banker, and the bitch that stole my writings and shit. She had, she was, uh, Controlling my so social security, which I don't get all of. This bitch is still getting part of my social security to this day, I believe. Real fucking talk. And they trying to steal the little shit they left me with. But long story short, she said, I'm going to bring you your, your, your check or whatever in cash. I said, okay. The little nursing home that they had me in in 96 or whatever. I put the goddamn money on the ledge and walked out. The spirit told me to do it, right? So I, I did it. And as soon as the guy was coming out the room that was cleaning it, I went in and the money was gone. Didn't leave me a dollar. I guess they thought I was going to go off. No, nah, bitch, your family going to die. That's what's going to happen and shit for stealing. And this is how I know they thieves and shit. Because, you know, I was on drugs and stuff, you know, after I left the psych ward or whatever, Madden, because, you know, I had gave my story to Oprah in 1995 again after 1984 at the age of 17, my child abuse rap. And, you know, I was feeling kind of depressed and shit. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, I had done drugs a little bit or whatever. I really wasn't far gone or whatever. I was just, you know, still experimenting or whatever and shit, right? And I'm in this hotel called the uh, Belmont Hotel or whatever on Belmont where a lot of gay guys and where they had a gay parade and all that shit around there. And, you know... I was in this in in, in the hotel because you know they 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 just wanted to kind of off me like they is trying to do now, and something told me to go buy some some braids some bombs and stuff, and I bombed it and it had a rug it was a rug in the room, it covered with roaches covered with fucking roaches you know why because was a bunch of guys in that motherfucker they have since um, remodeled the goddamn place because everywhere I go they remodeling stuff because they trying to make it seem like, you know, I'm delusional. I don't know what I'm talking about. If you come in this raggedy piece of shit, though, you know it's fucking bugs and roaches and shit. If I got a fucking... I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I will take that shit. But anyway, long story short. I couldn't get rid of them goddamn roaches. And do you know Lawanda, my ex-girlfriend that worked for Blue Cross Blue Shield, she still wanted to fuck me. She didn't give a fucking shit. Real fucking so. I, I tried to commit suicide with the goddamn psychotropic drugs that I was getting, you know, from my so-called doctor back then or whatever and stuff. I, I promise you, I'm not lying. Couldn't even fucking die in that motherfucker and shit. Some told me, you know, okay, I'm going to try to live and shit, right? I go outside. I see a Hispanic. This motherfucker say, hey, you want to make some money or what else? I say, yeah, you know, what, what I got to do? I'm still trying to experiment with drugs or whatever, right? This nigga took me to a goddamn apartment and shit. Nigga climbed through some hole some some wall and some um window you understand what i'm saying it was real small nigga I, to this day i don't know how that nigga got in that motherfucker and shit real fucking tough and then he opened up the door i took the goddamn cds you understand what i'm saying and four goddamn coins and stuff that 
looked like dollar dollar coins or whatever, but they was they was old, and I took them to a goddamn pawn shop because you know I was still trying to figure shit out. I'm you know I'm not a crazy motherfucker and shit. I'm no, I'm not trying to you know this is not going to incriminate me because I had already paid the price before you know that happened or whatever when they stole my money. Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. So long story short, you know I took the CDs to the nearest place or whatever and stuff. And they got damn it, you know, gave me a few dollars, and then they gave me a five dollars for each coin. I knew they was worth more, but I w I wanted the people to catch their shit up, and I figured they was watching me anyway because I had gave my story to Oprah in 1995. They knew who the fuck I was, but they thought I was gonna be strung out and shit, and then you know I wouldn't be able to tell these truths. I don't drink, drugs, smoke, or fornicate, but they still trying to catch a nigga up and shit, real fucking so. Long story short. You can't trust them motherfucker, goddamn Hispanics and shit. Real fucking so. They will rob you blind and they drink Corona. You understand what I'm saying? You know what Corona is? The coronavirus, nigga. Real fucking so. Don't be stupid. Every time they clean up a little bit, when I get to complaining, they just slop my water in the hallway hoping I'll slip or the stairs I'll fall and shit. This is the kind of motherfuckers I'm dealing with. It used to be an older guy fixing shit and doing shit right. He gone. Got these young punk ass motherfuckers that don't want to do shit. And think I'm supposed to pay their ass for nothing. I'm going to pay you no motherfucking attention and break these balls and hope to God. Man, I'm not going by myself. You are fucking so. And, and nothing fall. You know why? Because you ain't getting shit, nigga. You ain't getting my motherfucking crown, nigga. And I knew that was going to happen. The first one don't get you. The second one will. Now, you may have killed my mama, but you know how this shit work, nigga, don't you? You know I ain't finna miss this time, bitch. Real fucking too. You want my crown? Come take it, bitch. Real fucking too. Now, white ball on the ground. I got the three, the one, and the ten. Ten is my favorite number. One. I'm the originator of rap music, and three, I come from behind to get mines. Put it together, you got third, you got uh, 14. I want my fucking money. Mississippi, 10 city for a reason. Where that fucking white ball at? This is what we do to white balls. We knock them all around a goddamn place because they keep fucking with us and shit. Some goofy girl. Caribbean or whatever the fuck uh, she is on the breakfast club or whatever. These motherfuckers trying to take over. They trying to get rid of dark skin motherfucker. My guy, he used to have a, ca a Cadillac truck and stuff. He used to go to AA meetings with me or whatever and stuff. They kept scratching his car and every his truck and everything and stuff. Couldn't wait to goddamn it try to be like him and shit. Real fucking talk. Up north. And now these bitches out south and shit. These, they bringing these nasty ass bugs, man. Real fucking talk. Now, this say, God damn it, Luke chapter 8, bitch. You know why? And it's on page 848. I gave Oprah Winfrey my goddamn rap story at the age of 17 in 84. That's why it's 848, bitch, and chapter 8. 8 and 9 is what, bitch? 17. Now, you want to play fucking goddamn Russian roulette with your children, bitch? You motherfucking Hispanics, you think I'm playing with your ass and shit? I'm not playing. I don't know what the fuck this shit said, but you see the black and red. Now we really gang banging, bitch. I told you don't play with me. They've been hating on me since the beginning. They, we teach these motherfuckers how to kill us and shit. And then they try to goddamn reround and do the shit. You understand what I'm saying? You little punk ass motherfuckers. You little funky ass bitches. One more goddamn it for these stinking bitches. I can't stand you motherfuckers and shit. All you bitches had to do, and the shit that I went through in fucking goddamn Clark Mall, you stinking ass bastards. You gave me hernias, all kind of shit. Real motherfucker too. Let me hurry up and do this shit. Now, I've got the white ball. And the 12. How many disciples did Jesus have, bitch? One of them had to be a fucking girl, you little funky ass bitches. You fucking Judases. You fucking perverts. Stop following me, bitch.